I admit it, I'm an addict. <laughs> Wow, love it. Hey everyone. Okay, so we're gonna do something we haven't done in a long, long time. I have an Ulta haul, not really one Ulta haul, more like three Ulta hauls because strangely, I went to Ulta three times in the past week. I didn't like do crazy damage every time, but overall, it was kind of crazy damage. I promise I can kind of explain myself, or at least I'm gonna try. I don't go to Ulta a lot. I don't know why. I live kind of close to two Ultas, and they're kind of like right in my line of travels every day. So it's really convenient for me to just like stop in. All too convenient, if you ask me. Let's look at what I got at Ulta. One, two, three. What have I done? <laughs> Who am I? All right, so this is the first bag from the first time I went this week. I don't know why I feel the need to go in chronological order, but I do. Um, I went in there with the intention to take advantage of the leader sale, which I never have done, but they do this thing. I don't know if it's once a year or whatever, but they sell really giant sizes of nice shampoo and conditioner and hair products uh, for a big time discount. And I've always wanted to do it, but for some reason, I don't know, Ulta just always like, I see their little sale papers and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to totally get in on that. And then I don't, I don't know why. I can't tell ya. But I went in there with the intention to get in on that. I took one look at the table and I was like, I don't know what to do. And I couldn't make up my mind and so I got other stuff and then I left. This is what I got. First thing I got was this NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and I ran out of my e.l.f. HD powder and I don't know why. I was just like, oh well I'm just gonna buy this. And I tried it and it totally works but for some reason I decided to test the little flashback thing and the first day that I used it I took a picture of myself right after I put it on my face with my cell phone with the flash on and it was exactly like those pictures of like Nicole Kidman and all those poor celebrities that get that little flashback thing with the HD powder because I think this is just a pure clear translucent silica powder I'm pretty sure it does have the whole flashback thing. I don't think I ever actually even tested out the e.l.f. one, but it probably had the same thing. I do feel like it's a good option for setting makeup because it did work, but if you're gonna be the selfie queen of America and turn on your flash and have any kind of flash photography, don't use this. It's a deal breaker, seriously. If I still have the picture, I might have deleted it. It was an ugly morning shot. Not really in love with it. Not really in hatred. I don't know. Next, I got another NYX thing. It's the Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation. And I've gotten this before. I got it in the color medium beige. All of them looked like they were coming off really light because there were testers. I love when there's testers. And I actually like to carry this in my purse for touch-ups. Like if my concealer around my nose or, you know, my chin or something like that. If I'm really losing coverage or I'm sweating outside because it's blazing hot or whatever, I will use a powder foundation. And yes, I do run the risk of being a cakey cake face, but when you're starting to turn bright red or looking scary, this is my favorite fix. I, I do kind of really like this one, but I don't use it as a foundation. And the last thing I got out of this trip is the Essence Volumizing Lash Powder. And I really miss Essence. I don't think they have Essence at the HEB near me now, but they had it at the one that I used to live by. And I don't know, I love Essence. It's so cheap and I think it's a German brand. I could be making that up. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. But anyway, I was looking at the Essence stuff all nostalgically and and this is the volumizing lash powder like I said and it reminds me of the same concept of my beloved Too Faced lash extension mascara duo or whatever I made a whole review about it I even gave one away I love that stuff I still have and use like it's on my lashes right now it's like a fiber mascara and you use it in conjunction with another mascara and just watch the video if you don't get it I call it my dust bunny lashes and basically what this looks like is just a big pot of dust bunnies and so like you put mascara on then you do go for your dust bunnies and then you cover it with more mascara so it adds volume and length and craziness and dust bunniness. I think this one's only like three dollars or something which is a great relief compared to the Too Faced one. I was reading the back after I bought it like smart people do and I realized it says like really boldly don't use it if you wear contacts and I wear contacts they're not colored or anything but 
I wear contacts every day because I can't see. And that really bumps me out because I was really excited about using this and then now I feel like I'm gonna like ruin my eyeballs if I use it. And I'm not sure if the Too Faced one had a warning like that. If it did, then I'm not scared. I will totally just use this anyway because it's never given me any problems. I need to check in on that because I still really wanna try this but I haven't tried it. It's killing me. Anyway, let's go to the next one. This one was a much more I mean business kind of trip because after I went that time, I contacted my YouTube friend, Dana. Her username is lollydolly128 here on YouTube. She knows all kinds of stuff and her hair is gorgeous. So I trust her opinion and I was like, um, I really need advice which kind of shampoo and conditioner should I go for because I don't want to get stuck with a whole liter of shampoo or conditioner that I don't like. And she totally saved the day and she wrote me this like novel long text message and she suggested a bunch of them and I just like kind of picked one at random. So that's why I went back and I picked up the Redken Extreme Shampoo and Conditioner and it says this one is a fortifier for distressed hair and it has protein and I posted a picture on Instagram and I was like yay I got this whatever and oh another cool thing about it was not only that they were on sale but you got free pumps for them and I didn't put them in yet I have used them one time so far I can't really tell you like a whole opinion on them yet but I didn't put the pumps in yet because I wanted to show you without them being all goopy because that would be weird, right? People were like, oh, that's like got a lot of protein in it. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. I think I need to like learn more about hair protein or go back to that text that Dana sent me and get like an alternate shampoo so I can like switch off or something like that. I think she was suggesting that as well. So I don't know. But so far, I'm pleased with my purchase. Thank you, Dana. There's also like a gift with purchase kind of thing. So if you spent a certain amount on the hair products, then you got a free tiny little baby healthy sexy hair soy renewal argan oil i think i like it i don't know and since i was going nuts that day i went ahead and got two batiste and i haven't bought batiste in so long and i've missed it so much because i'm not seeing it in drugstores ever anymore so since i was in ulta i was like okay pull out all the stops i gotta stock up and i got the sassy daring wild one and the cool crisp fresh one and I like both of these flavors a whole whole lot and <laughs> I was talking to the salesperson that was helping me find them and she was telling me like oh she's scared of dry shampoo and she likes to shampoo her hair every day and blah 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 and I was like seriously like the sh dry shampoo disciple of the month or something because I was like you just gotta take a risk I swear it'll be great if you just give your hair a break like it will like regulate the oils or something and totally talking like I knew everything I was talking about I don't but I tried to encourage her to get out of the box and stop wasting time and this is the last thing I got it's the Nivea kiss of smoothless hydrating lip care SPF 10 I love this one I put this in an empties video and it was like a monumental moment because I like never finish a lip balm like actually get to the end of it and be like okay it's done because I always lose it or it ends up in the wash or I don't know any number of things like I leave it in my car and it totally melts and makes a big mess. Lip balms just do not survive in my life and I loved this one so much. I, I don't know we were soulmates or something and I used that one to death and I noticed like a big display of these and so I was like okay me and you. Let's do this again. That was it for trip two. I know. This is getting crazy. I know. On to trip three and the final trip. And this one just happened last night. And I actually went to a different Ulta because I told you that I'm really close to two of them because I was like, um, I'm kind of embarrassed at this point. Like, that's ridiculous, right? That's the point where you're supposed to be like, okay, reel it in, self-control time, set it in. I don't know. It didn't happen. I just went to the other one and it was like fancier, but they didn't have as much drugstore stuff, whatever. The first thing that I got is this big sexy hair spray and play harder volumizing hairspray. I got one of these at Nordstrom Rack and it was discounted because I think it was like a breast cancer one or something like that. Anyway, I got this one at full price, which sucks. I totally like cheap hair products, but at the same time, I really fell in love with how this one works. I need my hair. To do something and lately I've been totally giving up like I'm not even like really curling my hair anymore just because it's so humid and I'm just like I uh, can't be bothered anyway I still don't want it all flying around you guys know of a cheaper 
hairspray that is kind of like this one because I would really not like to pay this much ever again. It's not my style. Next up, this is another kind of big item. Not really big, but definitely exciting. It's the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer by Benefit. And I saw this one because it was right by the register every time I went to Ulta. So the first two times I looked at it and I like touched it and I was like thinking about it and I didn't know if I wanted it. And it says like long wearing magnet makeup, whoa! And it's got polka dots on it and the packaging is really cute and the display was really cute and it was just like sucking me in. And it kind of reminds me of the Topshop makeup packaging, I believe it is. It's just deathly cute and it's actually a stick it's really weird so weird i'm actually using it for the first time today so i can't really tell you how amazing it is or anything like that but i did ask the checkout girl at the second place if she tried or she liked it and she said it really does work who knows if my skin is going to react the same way as hers but it's just like a clear primer but it's a stick and i've never used a stick one and so i don't know i'm excited to see if it really works I will definitely be reporting back to tell you if it's awesome or if it's not awesome or whatever. It was $32 and it said on the little display that if you spent $30 on benefit products you could get a little gift with purchase and so I asked about that and they were like, oh, we ran out and I was like, <laughs> Why? I think they saw the desperation in my eyes because they were like, oh, well, but I think we have some other samples that we can give you. And it was so sweet and they were so nice to me. A little sample of the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. I also got the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. And I also got two little packety samples of the Fake Up Concealer. Okay, just a couple more things, I promise. I don't know why I'm feeling so much guilt during this haul. It's kind of weird. I admit it, I'm an addict. It is what it is. Next up, I got this L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. And I bought this even though I saw Judy from It's Judy Time's first impression video. And I don't think she really liked it. I don't know. But it's just, it's magic nude. And I love the packaging. It's so cute. And I don't know if I even got the right color. I haven't tried it yet. This is kind of a silly impulse packaging driven purchase and that was kind of hard to say but I don't know hopefully it will like surprise me and I'll really like it all right and the last thing I got obviously I saved the most interesting thing for last it is cotton pads because I ran out of my little nail squares that I take off my polish with and using paper towels is not a good substitute it is so hard to do but I've done it twice it was probably a ripoff to buy them at Ulta they're probably overpriced but you gotta do what you gotta do and I did what I had to do all right so that's everything a few questions for you if you have any advice for me what do you know about protein shampoos have you tried that shampoo did you like it what did you think I mean obviously I'm not gonna be taking it back but I don't know teach me about the hair protein stuff you guys always know so much and I learned so much from you guys and I really appreciate it and also I want to know if you've tried the benefit primer was it good did you love it I will definitely be getting back to you and tell you if I liked it and all that business just leave me comments down below thumbs up if you liked the video if you want to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr it's Leanne says everywhere and please subscribe to my channel please 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 if you already have subscribed I really appreciate you and thank you thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye everyone Is that true after I bought it Excuse me. Those stories go over there. I think I like it. Ooh. Is it? Is it? Is it?